hello welcome back to ladybug farm um for vlogmas 2015 um myself and little bumblebee boy tonight um so when i was growing up and still today um my sister and i um would say to my mother because i have twin sister my sister and i would say to my mother tell us about the day we were born so i'm going to tell little bumblebee boy here about the day he was born he just turned one years old just turned one um so um his, he was due December 18th, um, but I knew I an induction date to set for December 11th. So that was kind of my goal. I knew that a couple of weeks ahead of time. And so I was looking forward to that date, but I didn't tell anyone. I didn't really want people to know, because you know, you never know if that's gonna actually happen. And I just tend to kind of like, want to not have the pressure to worry about that. So, um, but, about so at 38 weeks um i went to the midwife she said your blood pressure is heavy or high um so i had i went and had a couple more times i monitored another midwife uh, a couple days later um and it just kept going until um they said to us come into the day assessment unit so we booked my daughter to go to nursery for the afternoon um, went to the day assessment unit and they monitored my blood pressure um and then this very nice doctor said hey you know you're only a few days away from being inducted um, to your normal induction we booked for you. Um, I don't want to take risks with this, so let's go ahead and start the induction today. And you kind of have the moment where you think, oh my gosh, you're excited, but then you're just like, that kind of that fear, that little bit of, okay, this is it, the unknown. I've never been, I had my, my daughter, she was very, day after her due date, very birthing center, very easy um, labor, birth. Went on the same day. Yeah. Yes, so I knew it would be a little bit more complex this time around. So um, we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl, so it was kind of a surprise, wasn't it? Um, so um, I went up to the ward. My husband went off to pick up my daughter from nursery. Um, my sister-in-law was coming over to spend the night. I knew it would probably be that night. Um, so, but I was really, I mean, I was actually okay. I, I had, I was really, really wanted my waters to break naturally. So I was like bouncing on the ball and had a baked potato and I was reading a Christmas book and, and people around me, there was other women in the, behind the curtains around me who were like totally in labor and, and they were like, Oh, can we go upstairs to the labor ward? And they kept saying, no, no, no. And, and I kind of got, because of my high blood pressure, they kind of fast tracked me upstairs. Um, so I went upstairs, um, my husband, um, by the time I got up to the ward, he walked in, um, so we, um, they, they, they she broke my waters and then wanted to see what happened and after an hour or so they decided to, um, the doctor said, why don't you just go ahead and, um, start the hormone drip. So they did the hormone drip and I think they think it was going to take a lot longer. Well, it really, boom, it just, I started having tra contractions. Um, I started getting really intense. I kept saying to the midwife, um, do you think you can check me to see how far along I am? Because I kind of knew, you kind of know your own body and I kind of was like, hmm, I think this is progressing pretty fast. Um, so she did check me um, and realized that yes, I was fully dilated and um, the baby's head was there and ready to come. Um, so then it was that they um, called a consultant in and um, and at some point, a whole bunch of other people came in. There was a whole bunch of like doc nurses from the um, special babies unit and stuff um, from around the corner. They all came in. And so they brought in like the little draft, draft they call it, little heating lamp and everything. So there was quite a few people in the room, but basically things were moving really fast and they were like, you need to push, 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 push. And I just remember just like holding the midwife's hand and holding my husband's hand and just pushing for dear life. Um, and he came out, and he came out fine, like, um, I don't know, I mean, he came out perfectly, I had no tearing, and so he didn't, it wasn't horrible, but he was really quiet when he came out, and I don't know, I don't know if they thought he, a little bit of, he just was really quiet, I mean, remember, he, they took him away immediately, and then he was over to my left, and I could see him, and he was breathing, and his color was great, but he just was really quiet, and um, so they basically said just we're going to take him for assessment and I was like okay so I got to hold him for like two seconds I got to find out he was a boy and I got to hold him for like two seconds and before they whisked him off but I of course said to my husband you go with him like I'll be following you go with him so um, he followed um, little Bumblebee to um, the, the baby unit 
um, and I was left. I kind of took a nap. Um, they, I did take a shower, which was dreadful. Um, and it's very cold shower. And then I actually helped my midwife, the midwife that was with me, um, help me pack my stuff up, and we hauled it all downstairs, down downstairs to the ward. And it just was really weird because I was thinking I just had a baby, and I'm all alone. And I, I have to admit, I was got pretty annoyed because I couldn't figure out where I was going. I couldn't. It was the middle of the night. Um, I couldn't find my baby. I just wanted to see my son. Wanted to see yeah. my son. So. Um, poor, my poor husband there on the flip side is he's with um, Bumblebee Boy and they're trying to give him a dummy they're trying to like they want to give him formula and my husband's like wait till my wife's here where is my wife and they're like oh she'll be here fine and so I did I did come and I had to breastfeed him for like two seconds he didn't wasn't particularly grabbing onto it um, so they basically said to me we need to give him formula and I was like okay so they gave him a bottle and they warmed him up and, um, and so eventually you know my husband went home and I went back to the ward and, and so then about noon of that day I finally after a couple of formula feedings and getting his sugar levels up and doing some blood tests um I got to bring him down to the ward for two days so we got to hang out and that's when like I got to have cuddles and that afternoon my daughter got to meet him and so you know it, it's one of those things where he was totally worth it and my little beautiful boy and by the t we didn't have any names picked out for a boy or a girl really so I got to have lots of cuddles and got to get to know his personality and breastfeed him and um, and then we went home after a couple of days and that was like that was it, wasn't it? So it wasn't um. My daughter's was like I went home the same day and I got actually I got to hold her and have all these beautiful photos and with him it was like I got one photo that is not that that memorable, um but I got lots of cuddles kind of alone in the. Um, being alone for a couple of days in the hospital with him. Yeah. So he's gorgeous. He's my gorgeous sweet boy. Um, he is lovable and sweet and kind. Um, and he's trying to learn how to walk. And I'm just so proud of him. So that is my um, vlog for today. It's Bumblebee's birthday. So happy birthday, little one. He's grooming away. Bye. See you later. Um, so I hope you're enjoying our videos and... We will say goodbye. Say bye bye. Can you say bye bye? Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching today. Um, please make sure to subscribe or give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Take care. Bye bye.